Hi there. My name is Jason, and I'm on the sales operations team at Computer Talk. Today, we're going to take a brief look at our ICE Contact Center and how it works with Microsoft Teams. The presentation's agenda will go as follows. We're going to begin by diving right into the ICE bar for Teams native experiences. We'll start with a voice call, then email, IM chat, and lastly, checking out our supervisor tools. Then we'll touch on migrations to Teams and what that might look like for your organization. Last, we'll spend a few minutes discussing the advantages for your organization that come with using ICE in Teams, specifically within your collaboration efforts. We'll start with the voice call. All of the experiences we're going to see are native within Teams, so we'll have a familiar look and feel as we go. Now, the benefit of using Teams is your phone system is using the platform as it's meant to be used, as a communications tool. If your organization is using Teams, you're likely already familiar with this interface. Our states and stats, any actions for the agents provided on our contact cards within the buttons they have on them. Our agent here is shown in ready state, waiting for a voice call to come through. As you can see, our agent is receiving a call. A toast window is appearing on the bottom right of our screen when there's an incoming call. The contact card is updating with the information of the caller, showing the name, the caller's phone number, which queue it came from, and who's previously handled calls with this individual. All important info coming over from ICE Journal and your connected CRM. To answer the call, we're going to click on the phone button on the window. The call will then open in our Teams window, connecting me, the agent, with the caller within Teams. As you can see, we're staying within Teams the entire time, allowing for a fluid interaction for your agents. We have the contact history coming through to your agents from ICE Journal and CRM integrations directly onto that contact card, allowing for the agent to be able to quickly and easily see all the information they would need to best handle that interaction. Now that we've seen how a call looks coming through, let's take a moment to see an email interaction. Similarly to the Teams native call experience we just saw, our entire email is happening within the ICE bar for Teams. As an email comes to the agent here, they are notified with this contact card, allowing for all the information traditionally shown through the ICE bar contact tab to be right in front of the agent during the entire interaction. This makes for an incredibly smooth interaction as the agent is already in Teams, all of the tracking is happening within Teams, and they don't have to leave the contact card. The agent can directly reply through this contact card, and if any collaboration efforts are needed, say they need to consult an SME, they can easily chat with a team member as they're already within Teams. Now to take a look at the IM functionality. This feature is great because similarly to the emailing and calling, it's all happening within this single pane. The interactions themselves, as well as the recording, reportering, and monitoring. Starting here, our agent is in an alerting state, shown through the cards. Now we can see a notification coming through. There is someone within our IM queue. And again, our agent is seeing this without having to leave their Teams window. Clicking the Answer button within the contact card takes the agent into the chat window, where they can have this interaction, which is all being tracked within ICE's reporting tools. What's also great is the feature to have canned responses native within Teams, allowing your agents to quickly reply to easy, frequently asked questions, allowing them to handle more interactions with the time they save during these interactions. But now we're going to pop over to the supervisor tools. To start with, we'll see the ICE monitor for the ICE bar with Teams. What's great about the supervisor tools here is similarly to the advantages we've already seen. It's all happening in the same program. Launching the ICE application within Teams allows for supervisors to log into the ICE manager website as if they were using their web browser. From this screen, ICE monitor is now in front of us allowing for the supervisors to see in real time how their queues and agents are doing, continuing to provide the unified Teams native experience. The other tools from the ICE Manager suite are also accessible from the toolbar at the top of the window, including reports, which we'll see more of now. With our supervisors being able to have real-time monitoring within Teams, now we'll take a look at sending historical reports into a specific Teams channel. These reports that are coming through the ICE reporting system whether they are standard scheduled reports, or if one of your supervisors wants to generate a report on demand, they can be pushed into a specific Teams channel. The example we have in front of us, you can see that within a customer support team, they have sections for weekly reports, making them easily accessible for all members of that team, without the need of a manual upload or an email to get them there. 
So now just a moment on transitioning your contact center. Our ICE contact center is endpoint agnostic. So regardless of where you are in your contact center journey, Computer Talk can support you and you can migrate at your pace. When transitioning to a Teams contact center, we offer different deployment options for your Teams journey, depending where you are already. And if you're currently using a legacy PBX system, there are options to get you to Teams as well, as you can see on the screen. So why ICE contact center with Teams? As you can see here, there are plenty of advantages, with the name of the game being integration and collaboration. Having all of your interactions within Teams hits both these marks, allowing for the fluidity of one interface processing your calls, as well as easily including possibilities for collaborations via Teams by sharing some of these interactions with team members. Using the ICE Manager Suite within Teams, letting you see live monitoring on your agents and queues all within that same interface, or sending your reports, scheduled or on-demand, to Teams channels for easy viewings by specific groups. All of these things are happening within Teams, the same program you're using on a day-to-day -day basis for communication, letting your organization utilize Teams and ICE Contact Center to the best of both of their abilities. That'll conclude our presentation. Thanks for joining us in our brief overlook of ICE Contact Center with Microsoft Teams.